In this video, we're going to continue with our demonstration on capturing vinyl. This time, we're going to send the audio signal to our DAW. For this, we're going to be using Pro Tools. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new session. I'll use 32-bit floating point, 48 kilohertz, create. In Pro Tools, I'm going to make sure that my setup I.O. is set up correctly. So playback interface is set up to the Centaur. And setup I.O. is by default channels 1 through 32. That's because I'm using it as a Thunderbolt interface. Let's create a track. So at this point, we need to figure out which channel is feeding both the, the dry record and the compressed record. And what I mean by that, dry record is the routing from preamp channel 5 and 6, and compressed is the signal coming from the AFX. So let's have a look. So if I click on preamp and I shift and hold click, I can see that that's routed to Thunderbolt Record 5 and 6. So let's go ahead and go to Pro Tools, choose inputs 5 and 6, and we'll call it Record Original. So it's going to be with no compression. Okay, let's create another channel. And coming back to the control panel, let's have a look. So we know that we're using AFX channels five and six to run the vinyl through the tube child. And let's identify where those come up on. So five and six are being sent to Thunderbolt Record. And here's where you kind of have to do the math because it doesn't show you the numbering. But it's gonna be channel 9 and 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So we'll choose interface in 13 and 14. Okay, good. Now for now, I'll just go ahead and mute both of these channels. Hit record enable. And let's record. Okay, we'll hit stop. And let's check out our results. So the record original is the top track right here. This is without compression. It's basically taking the preamp inputs and routing it directly to Pro Tools using the Thunderbolt routing. And the bottom one is with the Tube Child. Let's go ahead and play these back. First, we'll start with the original. You'll notice that when I switched to the Tube Child version, that the low end just got a lot weightier. So that's good. So let's go ahead and recap. We took preamp channels five and six, routed them to Thunderbolt Record five and six, which corresponds to this channel. This is the dry channel. And then we took the output of the AFX, routed to channels 13 and 14, coming in on this channel. So this way we were able to capture the vinyl record dry and with AFX compression. 